so we were studying the comparison of echogenicity of the liver with that of the right kidney this is the right kidney this is the right kidney this is the right kidney and this is the liver this is the liver this is the diaphragm this is the capsule of the kidney this thin bright echogenic line separating the parenchyma of the liver and the right kidney is the capsule in ultrasound this pole is considered to be the upper pole and this this pole will be considered the lower pole the the black area or hypoechoic area below the capsule this black area this is the capsule of the kidney and the relatively hypoechoic area this one this is the parenchyma and the bright echogenic area seen in the center is the central sinus echo complex it is echogenic because it contains fat this is also called the collecting system this was a short review of the right kidney so that you will be able to understand the echogenicity difference between the right kidney and the left kidney and also that you are seeing a normal kidney and comparing it with the liver parenchyma so if you concentrate on the echo brightness of the two organs you will see that the liver brightness or echogenicity is slightly more than that of the kidneys parenchyma the liver echogenicity is more as compared to right kidneys parenchyma if you see this it means that the liver is normal liver parenchyma echogenicity is normal and this is also provided the right kidney is normal this is the expected normal echogenicity difference between the liver and right kidney parenchyma this you have to remember keep it in your mind store it in your mind as more the normal you know more better you will be in finding or depicting the pathology